Hello and welcome to episode 73, today we're leaping ahead massively in the technology front, as today's game and watch comes with a beautifully backlit full color screen. And while it looks like the game and watches of old, it is certainly not one, it's another beast entirely, so please welcome today's star and focus, it's called Super Mario Bros., and it is a true copy of the Nintendo Entertainment System version, but presented in the brand new color screen series of the modern game and watches produced by Nintendo. First offered for sale November 13, 2020, it is unknown how many units were sold worldwide, however it is definitely not considered rare, as a lot of new unsold stock can still be found easily on many store shelves and often at a discounted price. But before we get too deeply into this week's game and watch review, let's take a few seconds to unveil last week's photo quiz question that we on this channel like to call what in the world. And, as I said last week, this is a tough one. As the image pulls back to show the Nintendo item in full, it's likely still not 100% obvious. Also, depending on your exposure to this product, which didn't sell too well for Nintendo when it was released, you'll be even more likely to be stumped. I think, at this stage if you've still not guessed it, the best thing for me to do would be to flip it over. Now that's a little better, it's a limited edition, Pokemon Blue, 2DS. The limited run Pokemon systems covered all of the three early editions of these games, the yellow Pikachu one, the red variant and as seen here the blue version that was our what in the world photograph. All of them came preloaded with their version of a faithfully reproduced original sourced game, and in my humble opinion, they look simply awesome. Now, had Nintendo applied that same style and theme to the newly released color screen game and watches back in 2020, well we'd have likely been offered something like this set scene here, which is a representative rendering I made, alas, it was not to be, but we actually did get this, which is still pretty cool. This is real, Nintendo made this and it's actually quite amazing. This 2020 Super Mario Bros. themed game and watch was initially praised, then as the train of criticism grew, more and more folk decided to ridicule it, and as a consequence, it now gathers dust on many shelves, both in homes and on store displays. And that's kinda wrong, I'll explain why shortly. As the product series name suggests, the Super Mario game and watch has a secondary function as a watch and as an alarm, just like every previous title in the game and watch product line did. The game and watch time screen goes to sleep after 3 minutes of inactivity, which is your chance to see one of several charming new illustrations or wallpapers, but more on that soon. Seen here is the basic time screen, and if you press the time button, that's the middle one of the three little white oval buttons on the top right of the unit, you'll be able to change or toggle through the backgrounds, which is also pretty cool too. By pressing the game button, that's the top white little oval button, again in the top right of the screen, you'll see the game selection index or menu selection appear on screen. For now, I'll focus on the game and watch icon, which is the third of three in that menu. And by selecting that choice, you'll be directed to this option screen, the game and watch ball. Here it offers the choices of game mode A, and game mode B. The opening screen sees our hero Mario replacing Mr. Game and Watch in this reproduction from the Silver Series 1980 original and has elements from the 1991 new widescreen series of Game & Watch, Mario the Juggler present. But for an extra slice of nostalgic fun, Nintendo included a little easter egg of sorts here, if you go to the Game & Watch menu, the screen that's seen here once again, but this time hold down the D-pad to the left, while holding the A button down for 5 seconds, then you'll be able to select Mario's brother Luigi, and as this is a Mario Brothers game, that just puts the cherry on the cake. And while there's absolutely no difference in overall gameplay, it does give the system a complete feel for their 35th anniversary. Back to the game select menu screen, and it's topped by this title's main game, Super Mario Bros. And, as I've previously mentioned, it's a near identical copy of the NES version, even down to the built-in cheat codes. Also, an added feature not available on the original, is the ability to have unlimited lives, on this screen scene here, simply hold down the A button for 5 seconds and that's exactly what you'll be given. And after that, you'll be presented with this familiar screen, as once again you begin your quest through the wonderful worlds herein. The second choice shown here, titled Super Mario Bros. 2, was better known here in the West simply as the Lost Levels. This game will take you a lot more time and a lot more frustration than the first. Easily one of the toughest 2D Mario games ever made, it was originally released in Japan, but despite being earmarked for a North American release, was eventually shelved in the West, specifically because Nintendo of America felt it was far too difficult for American gamers, and also that it was too similar to the original to be a success. If the game and watch is left idle for 3 minutes, while unplugged, it enters what is known as sleep mode, this is to save and preserve the battery. 
Before it does however, one of five pieces of amazing artwork depicting many Mario characters briefly appears on screen. These images will change depending on the device's activity prior to the unit entering sleep mode. All artwork with Mario and Luigi, as well as a piranha plant and a buzzy beetle, depicts them in the same color scheme as they appear in the actual game itself, while a lava bubble is seen without eyes, and a hammer bro and a koopa troopa are seen with their in-game shoeless appearance also. If the player presses and holds the A button for 5 seconds, they can listen to the Mario drawing song. The song's lyrics are available in multiple languages, which are selected from the title screen that appears after the player presses and holds the A button. That was the delightful Mario drawing song, what you think about that little gem, catchy eh? So, as we round out today's episode let me offer the photo montage of this device, and point out why it's more than just a collector's piece. The side scroller, NES Super Mario Bros. is likely the most common game being pushed in every retro device, I can't lie, but the unit is way more than that, way more than simply being able to play the lost levels too. It offers hope that Ultra Slim, Genuine pocket-sized games might still be available from Nintendo in the future, other themes will follow if demand is met, we might get Metroid, Kirby, Donkey Kong, and we've already got a follow-up Zelda. So my vote is to continue these, they're super cute, very playable and offer so much potential. However, this brings us to this week's What in the World segment. And it is a reasonably easy one, at least I kinda think it is. I guess we'll see soon enough, so, do you know what this Nintendo item is? If you do, I'd love to see your guess in the comments section below. But as always, if you don't, or are just unsure, it's not a problem because we'll be doing the grand reveal at the start of next week's episode, so stay tuned. And that just about wraps it all up, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation, I know there's a lot of these modern game and watch reviews to choose from, but I really love you being here with me today, so thank you all so much. Please feel free to do all the usual things, like giving us a big thumbs up, or a supportive comment, even think about following us and subscribing, so, until next week, where I hope to see you all again, thanks.